opportunity to speak here today. As I was planning out what I was going to say, I really thought to myself, what does it mean to be a Division III student athlete at a Jesuit institution? What kept ringing in my head was a quote from the Prayer of Generosity attributed to St. Ignatius of Loyola, who was the founder of the Society of Jesus. St. Ignatius said, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for any reward. We as student athletes do that day in and day out. We do not do it for a scholarship or to make it to the NBA. We do it because we love our sport and love our teams. If you look around Scranton's campus, there are no 100,000 seat stadiums. There are no statues of athletes that went here. To us, a good crowd is just having our friends, family, and parents there to cheer us on. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all those people, especially our parents. You spent countless hours driving us to games and practices, skipping out of work early or missing work entirely to make our games. You are there for us, whether we fail or succeed. You support everything that we do, and you've taught us to be who we are to this day. Fellow Grand Athletes, can you give me, can you join me in giving our parents, friends, and family a round of applause? Our family has grown during our time in Scranton. Not only do we have the entire university to lean on, we have the entire athletics department as well. Like I said, we do not always have thousands of screaming fans at all of our games, but our fellow student athletes always know when we play. What is important to me, and I think to all athletes, is when a member of another team is walking down the commons and sees you and says, hey, shake it off, you'll get it next time. Or great job against Catholic this weekend. Keep it rolling. That's what it means to be a Scranton student athlete. To break this family down even further, we have our own teams. I know without my team, I'd be eating every single meal by myself. I would lose a huge support system, not just on the field, but in all facets of life. Our teammates know everything about us. You spend countless hours with these people at practices and games, on the bus, team meals, hotel rooms. Eventually along the way, you cross the line from freshman strangers to brothers and sisters. Each team is unique in its own way. For example, the swim team has the box, which I'm positive they would rather go through horrendous torture before revealing what it actually means. We all have inside jokes, things that only our teammates would understand, and memories that will last a lifetime. Each one of those teams has someone at the top that's pushing us every step of the way, our coaches. Whether full-time or part-time, paid or volunteer, these coaches are there for us, win or succeed. Or, I'm sorry, win or lose. <laughs> From a baseball perspective, we have three assistant coaches that volunteer because they love our team and they love our sport. The coaches at the university are another huge support system for our student athletes, whether they're the coach of our own team or not. They put in so much time and effort into their own teams and still have time to keep up with the other teams and cheer them on. Their spouses and children become a part of, the, of our team too. Coach Bartoletti, I think you'd agree that without your wife, God knows where the baseball program would be at this point. <laughs> and if you go to any men's basketball game, if you go to any men's basketball game and look at the crowd, Mrs. Danzig is usually more into the game than Coach Danzig is. No offense, Coach. <laughs> These people and their families care so much for us, not just as students and athletes, but as individuals. Your dedication to what you do is truly remarkable and does not go unnoticed. I would like to thank every coach and their families for what they do for us. <laughs> coach Schmansky already hinted at it, but I cannot speak about this athletics department, particularly this class, without talking about the accomplishments both on and off the field. Every single year, we win landmark conference championships. We put people on the all landmark conference teams. Have athletes that, athletes that are all region and all American, academic all district, academic all American. We've sent two teams to the lead eight in the last couple of years. The list goes on and on. If you ask me, Scranton athletics are second to none in terms of students who compete at the highest level of pure athletics. But not only are stu Scranton student athletes second to none on the field and in the classroom, they are second to none as individuals. Scranton athletes spend hours volunteering and working in this community. Specifically, in the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, we do events such as National Sportsmanship Day where we go to local grade school and teach kids how to play sports with respect and sportsmanship. We do a safe Halloween for local kids to come to the university and go trick-or-treating safely, a Thanksgiving food drive, a Christmas toy drive, a Zoomathon to raise money for cancer research, the list goes on and on. Scranton student athletes embody so many ideals like self-discipline, leadership, and strong moral character. We consistently strive for the ideal, Jesuit ideal of the modest, meaning the more. We have to balance a heavier workload than your average student, but you'll never hear us complain. Scranton student athletes are determined to be the best they can be on the field, in the classroom, and in life. Looking into this crowd, I'm looking at some of the greatest people I know. The only message I can really give to you is just continue to be the amazing people that you already are. Although our college careers 
have come to a close, keep that same spirit and sense of community everywhere you go. It is contagious. In life, we will be part of many teams. And although they may not be sports teams, they will still be a great team for you, and you can bring your, sp your same spirit, your love, and your dedication that you brought to your sports teams here at Scranton. Your family is your team. The people you work with is your team. They will support you and be there for you every step of the way, just like your teammates at Scranton. I thought it would be appropriate to end with a quote from an athlete, Emil, Emil Zetapak. He was a Czech long-distance runner in the 50s, and he said, An athlete cannot run with money in his pockets. An athlete must run with hope in his heart and dreams in his head. Dream big, everyone. And like St. Ignatius challenges, go forth and set the world on fire. Thank you.